and welcome to the Cat Collective. I'm Nina, I'm the channel for this channel. And let's start. No, isolation. Mimicry. Grief. What kind of what's going on? Waterproof. Oh, okay, now I'm getting it. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm getting it. Do you get it too? Huh? So magic, yay! Yeah. <clears throat> Divine timing, the wand, powerful, yeah, oh, <laughs> that came out in the reverse, finally, and uh, <laughs> that one, <laughs> yeah, I think, you know, <clears throat> you're at this point where, um, when I see all this, right, people what people can say or what <coughs> okay uh, uh it's almost like because i'm sneezing and sniffing and all that it's like you be you've become waterproof <laughs> it's almost like <laughs> waterproof right um regarding triggers because you're so sick of it like you know when you reach a point in your life where you really just don't couldn't care less anymore it's this you know what keep saying you know it's this um mimicry was it um Someone imitating, someone saying you are imitating, or something like that. That's a trigger. Is this a trigger? Well, if someone says to you that your art is not unique, um, for example, right? Um, this can be a trigger, right? It can be a trigger, but. It can also, you know, it's this, okay, that's, that's just one example, but it is this, um, you know what, um, there's an illusion in everything. When, when, when someone says what you are doing is completely unique, is this the truth? Well, unless, unless you would start to grow your own set of wings and fly away and know how to do so right or something similar and otherworldly like this you know all the earthly matters matters have been used and nothing you know we are all bad cover versions in a way do you know what i mean it's this, uh, yeah, 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 you know, it's a, but it's just one example of a trigger that could come up, but that could, could have led you to isolation in the past, but now you're standing there and we're like waterproof because this is like, uh, isolation is an allergic reaction to triggers almost, right? Like self-imposed isolation, right? And even me sneezing and the word in combination with the word isolation is a trigger these days isn't it but by the way where 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 is it where has it gone the situation it's completely gone you know it's completely gone like the, it's gone that's funny is it mm, grief yeah you know it's like people maybe maybe it's this um you want to maybe maybe people want to trigger you a bit or situations want to trigger you a bit but you have become so waterproof to all of this 
um, maybe in a phase of isolation. Maybe it was previous to that it was different, but now you yes. waterproof. That's it. We don't even want to look at all the other cards because it's unnecessary, right? Because, you know, there was another card coming up on the bottom of the deck and it was this one. Self-interest. Yeah. You know, catch your own mouse and fly away. Even if it, it's, you know, this is your mouse and it's like, you know, I, I just feel, I just feel that that there can, you know, some something can come up that, you know, whenever you are getting into a phase of somewhat success or whatnot, right? People, you know, there, there are always those voices that are like, eh, 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 you are doing this just for yourself. Blah, blah, blah. You know, all this, this blah of people that you just, you know, it's okay. They can all talk as long as they want to. You don't mind anymore, right? Every reaction of other people is their problem. Every reaction of everybody else is their problem. It's not your problem because it just shows you more about them, right? And for yourself, it's like, no reaction whatsoever because you are on your own you know, self-interest. And it can be looked at as a, um, as a negative thing, right? So, if, you know, you are selfish. But these days, you know, I just sometimes have the feeling that a lot of people also use this word to justify their own selfishness selfishness yeah yeah to, to justify this a bit right in a way it's a mirror again right it's this um mm, it's it's like watching somebody doing something good and then criticizing them right And just saying, well, they need it for their self-esteem. They need it b because they they don't feel worth otherwise, right? And stuff like that. But when in fact it's just something good, right? And why would anyone be even, you know, why would anyone even want to do that? Like, you know, when you think about this yourself, I think this is the, this is this um, being waterproof. Like, I just feel so much energy, you know, so many opinions of others. And I also feel the, the thickness of your feather dress, right? It's this, how waterproof you are towards this, because you have no other choice but to be like that, right? You know? I just feel the energies and they, the, the funny thing is though, in this reading, I feel the energies, but they don't reach you. They don't re they, it's like they are, they are not going like they, they just, it's almost like you, you witness them, but you, they don't touch you. Right. And maybe before that, maybe they, they have touched you before, you know, maybe, you know, with this hole in there, right. Uh, it could be that previous to that there was uh, some sort of reaction from your side that was, you know, maybe previous, maybe when you were less experienced, you didn't, you did have a different reaction, like to everything like that, right? But now it's different. It's just, yeah, you know, well, the best thing you can do in this, you know, it's when you are waterproof. You can basically ignore the rain, right? You can just ignore it. And you're like, yeah, it's probably raining somewhat, somewhere. Do I mind? No, it's okay. I don't care, <laughs> right? And it's like, I don't care and it's fine, right? 
It's like, you don't need that anymore for yourself. It's just, um, yeah, becoming stronger than you thought, maybe yourself, right? No, suddenly it's this um, grief again. It's this uh, maybe. You know when you when you become so waterproof to to um, anything. You know it's it can it it just feels like opinions, opinions, judgments of any kind, words, suggestions. Even it's just being totally unaffected by anything that surrounds you and becoming your own bubble, right? And this causes people to be somewhat sad. This grief card, you know, because like for me, this, this rebirth is not really, it's not death, death, that, that, <laughs> it's not death. What, I cannot speak today, can I? Does it matter? No! Well, um, so it's sleeping, right? And it's this people or others, they are, they are grieving because they had fun triggering you, right? They had fun. And when you don't play anymore, when you act dead, 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 <laughs> when you act dead, <laughs> dead, uh, then they grieve what... They grieve because they have lost their power. They grieve their own power over you, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's nice, isn't it? Because you are, you are waterproof now. Yeah, you are. You know? That's that. And it's powerful. Or maybe that's that's what this card also meant. It's this, you know, when people try to um, do something to trigger something within you, and you're like, no, you know, I'm doing everything on my, that's my thing. I do it what how I want it and when I want it and how often I want it. And it's my stuff. It's like, I'm me. I, I say what I want. I say it as freely as I want. And... Uh, you know, it's, there's no even, there's not even the need to argue, right? Because you have become so waterproof. That's amazing, actually. And also, it's so powerful because it's your power, right? It's your wand that you are now putting there. And you're like, you know what? I don't need any of this anymore. And it's so nice, right? It's so nice. <sighs> But let's 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 just um analyze why you could have been triggered. You know, it's this when 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 something triggers you, an opinion or whatnot, you I think you you want to justify something in return if you you get triggered. So if someone says you're ugly, for example, right? Then you might feel triggered because A you might feel ugly yourself or you might feel that you need to prove to people that you are not ugly, which is, well, always in the eye of the beholder, right? It's this, it's just an example, right? It's this trying to uphold an image of who you are, you know? And when others trigger you, they just want to, I don't know what they want to, like, it's this, they probably don't even realize it themselves what they are doing sometimes, right? And therefore, you don't need to give attention to this at all because it's not it's not um, important because I think mainly when we try to react or just anything like that, it's also because maybe we have the fear of isolation, right? Or we, we feel that uh, something is um, not fear, fear of isolation, but also 
uh, wanting to be accepted or loved, right? And you don't need that. Yeah, of course it's nice. Yeah, everybody wants that in a way. You know, but if people, for example, misunderstand the things you say, what is, like, that's not your business when you know your own intentions. And do you have to, to explain or just apologize even or, you know, you don't have to do that. Because the people who are meant to be with you, they are not getting triggered and they understand you and they don't feel the need to argue with you. And there, there, there's just any kind of drama whatsoever is just falling away, right? And um, that's fine, right? It's fine. It's just it could be that uh, previous to that you, you were a little bit disfigured by this and now you are not and it's amazing and it is an example, right? For people who maybe are not not as uh, waterproof as you are, right? It's just, you know, once they see their own beauty somehow, right? And uh, once they realize this, okay, it's like, you know, it's this thing when you, when you are, um, you know, there's two, two types of people, right? There are people who, who hide and lock themselves in to a closet or something to sing, right? Because they are, they are afraid that neighbors will hear them, right? And they don't want to annoy them. Maybe also because they are, they are considerate enough that they also are a bit annoyed when neighbors are too loud, right? So, because they don't like what they, what others do to them, those people, right? They, they then in return automatically already, well, they are over considerate, right? It's this being too considerate about the neighbors and Yeah, trying to find a way how to reduce the noise so neighbors won't get offended or annoyed or whatnot, you know. It's just to avoid by any cost just this knock at the door and this conversation of be quiet, right? Yeah, because it's uncomfortable, isn't it? Especially when you are, that's a good example, actually, singing, right? When you are singing and the neighbors are knocking at your door, of course, singing itself is, a, is an act of, of uh, it's a vulnerable thing to do because people judge you as soon as you start to sing. There are TV shows, not just one about judge, about judges judging your voice, Right? It's like that there's a whole industry that was made around this, right? So, of course, that's a very, very sensitive topic, right? How dare you make a mistake, right? People know. People hear that, right? Okay, that's one set of people. So, the over-considerate, because they also are annoyed by this, by, by, by neighbors who are too loud, right? And therefore, they themselves act like this. And they... But... Do you see what what the energy does when when you when you are not that's 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 not I wouldn't say that this is waterproof this is more the opposite this is like feeling that you have to uh protect your your self from being wet and putting on t a lot of layers just to make sure that this doesn't happen right and it's not a bad thing it just shows the lack of confidence right and it most likely in this case will also reflect in the voice 
I'm pretty sure that it will reflect in the voice. When you are not confident enough to fill up a whole room with your voice, right? You will hear that in the airflow, in everything. And you see that in people, right? You see that. What those people need is a new li living circumstance without neighbors. That's the best thing to do. Because this situation of being too considerate, which is actually a very kind and beautiful... Um, it's kind and beautiful to have that, right? To be so considerate. But it's also restricting them so much because the influence, you know, all the people look at this, they, they all press in, right? Into the, they, they all come in and it's it's not good. So it would be probably beneficial if a person like this would live in a, in a van or something, you know, or somewhere just where no neighbors are. So they can, they, they don't feel, they are, they have the freedom to unfold, right? This would help. And then there's a set of people who put an amp into the living room, plug in a mic, and then they sing in the living room with a mic on, right? Yeah. And then the neighbors come and uh, knock at the door and they're like, yeah. <clears throat> you have those conversations then, right? Yeah. Then there's a, like, it's probably equal, as equally as beneficial to also, like, neighbors in general can, it's, it's a, it's a difficult topic, isn't it? But, uh, it's, it's just, um, it also shows the, um, difference right it's this not caring about being waterproof not caring what others think you know apologizing is something that is underestimated sometimes right it's just because at first you do and then you see what happens right and maybe those people who have actually the amp in the living room don't even have to have conversations because no one gives a fuck Right? It's just the own fear of oh, could be, could happen, right? Hm. Just saying. Um, yeah, but um, why is it you? So I again s sat down without the intention to, to speak about this, but when I saw those cards, I, saw, I, I just thought about negative talk of people right and what it can lead to and this is isolation right right and it is you know and it's incredibly hard you know and i think everybody everybody has an area where they are incredibly sensitive right it's it can be anything you know it can be anything anything you know some people are really they are really confident you know when you take the singing example maybe they they are confident in in their ability to to sing and to make music but when it comes to to love things they are so shy they wouldn't even dare to speak with someone big because they are so shy even though they think they are cute but they are shy so but yeah why right? yeah so there are areas like this. So it's not like there's no one, one. Why was I drawn to talk about this? Is it maybe, or maybe, maybe you are experiencing something like this and you just need a confirmation that you are actually waterproof? Right? And it, it comes from experience. It comes from... Um, Some, it's also a tip so sometimes you just have to play it out let, let it play out a bit like you have to wait and see what happens you know it's sometimes you know reactions they come very fast right but if you don't immediately react to a reaction for example or if you don't immediately 
Like, if you just let it sit there for a bit, right? It will... The problem will disappear in a way, right? It's this ignore, ignorance. It's this, uh, what I said with this, um, when you are just um, not participating, right? It might cause a flare up, up of energies who want to trigger you, right? A little bit, but maybe a little bit more, but I don't know. But it's just, you know, not doing anything with it and just play dead until they are not interested anymore. Right? And not mimicking them. Right? It's like, yeah, because they react and you react. It's just back and forth. You don't want that. You don't need that. Like, you want magic, right? What's the magic? I want to give you some magic. So, first of all, you're waterproof. Okay, I told you a lot of, like, uh, examples of how waterproof you are, right? So, that's something. But, so, you, you don't listen, right? It's okay, you're waterproof. But, what else now, right? Because now, now you're waterproof. Like, what can you, it's just a superpower. I always say we stay, we should stay hydrated, right? So is this a superpower? Yeah, I think it is. So let's see if there's some something more. If you find a word, it's yours. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. If they want to come out, then uh, we take them. Introspection. Introspection is often necessary to, to deepen our awareness of the unity and divinity of life. And intuition. Allow the, the limitless power of your unconscious mind to answer your problem by using symbols, memories, and hunches. Yeah, um, so I think, you know, because you went in introspection, it's this isolation has been all, also on the table, you know. I think this whole process has made you waterproof. It's almost like you go you go within, you hide and you work on yourself a bit, like not not just a bit. A lot. And then you become waterproof because you become strong, because you you go within and you see and you work on things, right? And just like me, it's this, um, or oh, intuition, you know, when you take the example of someone who sings in a closet, right? Um, this is like, this is a heightened intuition. It's a heightened, um, defensive stand, right? It's a heightened awareness towards the others, right? Whereas putting an amp into the living room is is more or less the opposite, right? It's not considerate at all, actually, right? It's, well, it depends, right? It depends um, where your living room is located. Maybe your living room is the room that you know is also the room that would affect your neighbors the least because of the structure of the house or something, right? So it doesn't, you know, this is just the opposite. And, um, you know, have if you witness people who are recklessly not caring about opinions, that's also not good, right? You know, there are people in this world that they they think they are awesome, but they are not, right? They have got such a blown up false sense of reality of themselves that they don't grasp what's, you know, they they cannot even, they don't even see, right? And... um 
it is about finding the golden spot within the this um path towards being waterproof because if you look at this you know someone who doesn't really care like the water wouldn't even be noticed somehow right it's this the water wouldn't even yeah it's it's just it wouldn't even I cannot even really describe it, but I think you know what I mean, right? Uh, was this helpful? I don't know. Yeah, but... So if you don't feel waterproof, the guidance is go within and see. see go within and see <laughs> how you can become waterproof, right? Because um, there's always, you know, in triggers, there's always something something valuable for you inside right and if you look at the truth of something right um without a judgment from yourself you know and we judge we ourselves we judge because we are attached to things you know it's like saying to someone's child that they are misbehaving and and speaking with a mother that is like no my child is the most beautiful child in the world and in reality it's a little prick that you really just want to <clears throat> right it's about about seeing the reality of things right also about yourself right so and therefore yeah intro introspection is important right in becoming waterproof true confidence comes from being truly waterproof and not overprotective or underprotective or ignorant or whatnot it's seeing the truth without distortion and most often we have certain degrees of distortion because of wounds we carry around right we have this like, yeah, being too considerate or being too polite or being too this and that or just too, you know, it's this typical thing where you look in the mirror and you think you are ugly and other people look at you and they think you are so pretty. You are so beautiful. But you, when you look in the mirror, you, you don't see that, right? Sometimes, not always so mood related right yeah but i just wanted to talk about this a little bit i want to give you some magic i'm talking really more than usual it's so crazy okay let's see what kind of magic we can pull off here to wrap it all up <laughs> believe in the impossible Ooh. Ooh. well then do that because there's magic on the table what's the magic though What's the magic? Hmm? What's the magic? Well, yeah, so, uh, yeah, let's see who this ring is for. Such. Okay. Yeah, uh, additional info is in the litter box below, and see you next time. Bye bye.